guys hey there welcome back to my channel obviously you might know that my name is rachel aka lily works and on this channel we do a lot of jewelry a lot of vintage jewelry and fortunately for us this box has just been giving vintage jewelry um we are on part three of this ginormous like unboxing it was a 23 pound unboxing and i kind of want to get your opinion if you are coming into the chat i do want to get your opinion of this piece that we unboxed yesterday so if you're new to the channel welcome um go ahead and hit the subscribe yay becky's first live she is here um yay katie's here <laughs> katie and i went thrifting today she is my antique booth buddy um, we went to the Goodwill bins. We went to, um, oh, Jen's here. Woohoo. All right, Katie, I know you. I'm going to add you as a mod. So you're going to be a standard mod. And Jen's a mod here. That's um, being a mod. All you have to do is like put the links that I describe um, in the chat for people to click on and get rid of any trolls. So thanks for um, all the the likes so far. Let me turn the screen around. It just seems really wiggly um, looking at my face. So let me turn it around. Let's get into part three. If you've missed part one, part two, they have been great. Yay, Paul is here as well. I have some of my tea left over. I need to bring some more tea from my booth. This is just stash tea. Sandy's here. Yay. Oh my gosh, thanks you guys for joining me on a Sunday um, night, right? It's nighttime now. I've had a day um, laughing my head off all day. <laughs> it's been all things thrifting and antique store shopping and everything like that. So, um, yeah. Also, I am I just mentioned Katie. I have started a new YouTube channel. It is called Lily Works Antiques and Collectibles. That is going to be more geared towards uh, like vintage glass, vintage collectibles, the antique booth talk, just being completely transparent about if I'm actually making money there. Um, and then maybe even like just shop with me is like today I recorded a shop with me video and it was just so fun. And then I captured some really funny moments at the antique booth. It was hilarious. So um, if you're not already subscribed over to that channel, I think we're at like 70 subscribers now. Um, and so hopefully that channel will grow quickly over there. But if you're not already subscribed, one of my moders, moderators can put in the chat a link to the new channel. Um, Becky says, this has been an amazing series and congrats on making rent your, on the first day. Yes, I did. I made rent the first day. And what's so nice is that I'm able to, um, uh, like go back and like Maya, the owner, she has a binder where you can actually see like how much you've made through like month to date, um, uh, as far as your booth goes. So yes, so this was left over from yesterday and all I did just like before, I untangled it. Paula says she watched it, great content. It was fun seeing um, your space in the antique booth and my adorable children. That is awesome. Um, yeah, it's super fun. Like it, I'm super passionate about it. I love it. And I honestly, I talked with the customers so much today. So it's like giving me big dreams of having an antique store one day because I love, I just love everything. I love all the things about it. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's get into these pieces that were left over from yesterday. And Ooh, there was some earrings tangled up. I actually ended up like throwing away a couple pieces, um, from this tangled mess. So please forgive me for that. But I just, I couldn't, it was like, um, and I think I still have, yes, I still have a tangled bunch here. So thank you, Jen, for putting in the YouTube channel. You guys can go ahead and click that and subscribe. And that would really help out a lot. Okay, so this right here is a more modern multi-strand necklace. Right here, you see the lobster claw clasp. And this is faux stone. You can tell it's modeled after stone. Actually, it looks like it has some real dyed howlite 
right there and right there. Just dyed green howlite. Um, I'm going to put this in the maybe. So we have the maybe lot right there. If you guys are new, coming on in. Um, we have the yes. So this is the yes left over. And I wanted to ask, and when more people come into the chat, when we get to about like, I don't know, 40 maybe, I'm going to ask about this piece here, what your thoughts are. We have the maybe bin. We have the no slash craft lot bin. And you guys know for now, as the district platform has been growing, um, my maybe bin has been going up for sale and my craft lot bin has been going up for sale. They have been selling within a day. So um, if you're interested in those, they are going to be like $14.99 each. If it's not full enough, I do add in more pieces just to make it like fun and worth your while. And like you feel like you're getting a good deal because I want you guys to come on over to our jewelry community. All the sellers that are there, they've all had their application. Um, I've like reviewed their all app their application. I have personally accepted them. They all are sellers. And then we all communicate on a Facebook group. So you're able to not only advertise your listings on that Facebook group, but you're also able to like ask questions or see what other people um, are looking for. And so it's more of like a community social media based selling type of I guess selling a platform or way of selling. Okay, so this is actually gorgeous and I really want to get it out. Um, even though it's an illusion necklace. So an illusion necklace basically means if you were to put this on your skin, it kind of looks like it's an illusion just sitting there against your skin and these are kind of just floating. A lot of illusion necklaces we do not like because they get kinked up so easily and tangled and lose their shape and they don't really sell super well online. But this one in particular has like a really pretty, it almost looks like thermoset, like moon glow thermoset, genuine pearls. We see the genuine pearls. I love this. And look at this little genuine pearl dangle. This is so pretty. Um... If I wasn't feeling generous, I would want to sell it, but I'm going to put this in the maybe lot for somebody else. Okay, so this I'm just giving up on. We're just giving up on this tangle right here. There are some things, but I'm going to put this in craft lot um, because I did give up on that yesterday. There's, I don't know, there's just stuff in it. <laughs> okay, we have this blue, it feels like dye glass, seed bead, maybe, necklace, this painted butterfly Mother of Pearl shell pendant. This again is more modern. I'm going to put that in the maybe. Okay. We have another eyeglass <clears throat> um, holder. And we had a bunch of those yesterday. So there we go. This I put in the craft lot yesterday. I'm going to put them in there again. Okay. So um, you guys... I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take guesses. We have 22 people in the chat right now. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, but I'm going to let you guys guess what this is because as I was untangling yesterday, I was like, oh, is this really? So I'm going to get, let you guys have some guesses here at what you think. So thank you, Becky, for subscribing to the new channel. Yay! Okay, so um, Jen says you had a bunch in your boot. Oh, I did see that, Jen. Did I comment on your latest video? I did see that. I thought that was funny because you came into my chat yesterday and you didn't say anything. <laughs> so I thought that was super funny. All right, you guys, take a guess. This is a modern designer. Take, take a guess at what designer you think it is. I think the hint would be this, like, encrusted pave rhinestone situation that's happening. Genuine... Is this a lapis lazuli? Yes, it is. We can see the gold flecks in there. All right, you guys, guess what you think that is. And this one is a definite, definite yes, all day yes, 100% yes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that off to the side and let you guys guess a little bit what you guys think that modern, um, here, you guys can't see it. I'll put it right there for you guys. Guess in the chat what you think that, 
who would make that necklace right there? I feel like some of you guys are probably Google lensing it right now. Um, okay, so we have, so um, Jen says Juicy Couture. I'm going to tell you no, so guess again. <laughs> we have a kangaroo and not even sure what kind of flex are in there and no maker. This might have been like a souvenir piece, maybe like, I don't know, from the zoo. I'm going to put that in maybe. We have this right here, Dior, not Dior. Becky um, is guessing Dior. It's not a tour piece. So we have this um, pull bracelet. Sandy said Kate Spade. Nope, not Kate Spade. A little bit better than Kate Spade. And um, I would say sell just as fast as a Dior. Better than Kendra Scott. Not Nina Ricci. This one says TAI. I have no idea what that is, but it's like a Pave rhinestone. Not a Tiffany. Um, I don't think this is sterling silver. I think this is a costume piece, but it's a higher end costume piece. Not Monet. This I'm going to put into craft. I'm not even sure. Like, it could be something. We have this. Oh my gosh. I think this is damaged, but... Um, you guys know the chandelier Hattie Carnegie situation where things are hanging off like a umbrella, not not Givenchy, Givenchy. Um, not Michael Kors, better than Michael Kors. I, I'll give you a hint. It starts with an A. Nope, not Coro. Lynn is at, saying Coro. It starts with an A. All right, so this might be damaged. I'm just putting this to the earrings over on the side. And you guys can see, look at, look, look at the rash that's happening. Not Anne Klein, better than Anne Klein. Um, this is from the sterling silver and Aztec bracelet that I was wearing today. You guys remember I tested it yesterday and it was negative <laughs> for sterling silver. All right, not Avon, definitely um, higher end, more higher end. Okay, so we have this like sugared, um, not Armani. We have this sugared, oh, it says 925, 925 sterling. It's like sugared glass, confetti glass, something. Um, it's a little bit broken. It does need to be reattached here. But I will put this off for testing. But as we've learned that there's been a lot of um, pieces. Okay, I'll tell you the last name of the designer starts with a B. That was a good guess. Armani was a good guess. But I'm telling you guys, this Pave-like situation here is kind of um, indicative of this designer. Okay. So it's, it's an A and then a B. So I would just put this back on. And we have seen that this lot kind of has some fake sterling silver. <laughs> so this would have to be another test. And another guess is that I was hoping that an earring from the first video was is a match in here. And I'll show you the earring. Boom. So this is the same designer right there. And as we can see, we can see all the Pave loveliness. So you guys might be a little irritated that I'm like dragging this on, but it honestly like helps it stick in your brain a little bit better. So if you see it the next time, ding, 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 Paula got it, Alexis Bittar. So when you see it the next time, the A and the B and the and this kind of like really encrusted rhinestone look, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, that's when Rachel <laughs> went on and on about it. So yes, this definitely is a Bolo brand and it sells very fast online, Alexis Bittar says right here see that Alexis Bittar and I was super excited about this because I just know this is definitely a seller this is definitely not one to put in the booth <laughs> even though it is gorgeous I'm trying to put things that are that catch people's attention and don't necessarily have to be signed so this is a definite yes okay look at these earrings these are ridiculous 
<laughs> Everyone's like, yay, Paula. <laughs> um, these are some seed bead spirals. Yes. Okay. The clue was the one from last night's video. So, uh, spiral seed bead situation. We'll put these in. I would actually sell these in my booth. I really would, but I'm going to put them in craft just to make the craft a little fun. We have these vintage beads. These are not glass. I'm going to put those in craft. We have an earring. We have this is missing stuff so i'm gonna put that in craft maybe someone can totally fix that we have some amber tone lucite it does look like a swirl lucite bead vintage put that in maybe Ooh, look at this guys look at this what do we see <laughs> what do we see on the back and it is really pretty um, so now that you guys are all like warmed up as far as like guessing goes, I am hoping that you guys continue <laughs> to comment because I'm sure you know what this is, but it's so gorgeous. I love that it's like a gunmetal gray and Megan's here. Megan, we're playing all the guessing. Yep. Ding, ding, ding. Jen got it. 1928 jewelry. And as you guys know, 1928 jewelry is not from 1928. I, the first time I, well, one of the first times I ever went like shopping, what I did is I, um, I was just looking for tags. Like when I was looking for jewelry to buy for resale. And one of them was 1928 right here. It says 1928. And so I was like, well, if it doesn't sell, I'll just keep it. And when I looked at comps online, I was like, the comps don't look that great. And little did I know how collectible 1928 jewelry actually is. And it does sell. And honestly, like I've just gotten to, into the habit that if a piece is not on there, I just price it at what I want within like a reasonable amount and then take offers. So because this one is really gorgeous in like a Victorian style, this is lovely colors. Um, yes. So, uh, so what Katie... <laughs> maybe doesn't know is that this swirling on the back of a piece is indicative of 1928 jewelry so if you if you see a brooch or earrings that are not marked by anything but you see this swirl stamp on the back it would be most likely 1928 jewelry you can confirm it um with like google lens to see if the piece is up but yeah Ooh, we have these crystals. Oh, look at these crystals. I love the colors of these crystals. Really pretty, sweet, dainty bracelet. I'm going to put this into maybe. I actually really like that. All right, this one actually feels like a handmade piece. It has all heavy glass beads, right? But the reason I think it's a handmade piece is because of this, like, thread that's running through it and there's no clasp so I think someone just put something together with beads that they liked so I'm going to put this into craft these would be absolutely fantastic beads to craft with all right also we see this again what do we think that remember from yesterday we talked about this shape I can't remember if I saw this yesterday so I'm going to take a quick quick peek oh 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 yes okay so you guys, guess what this one is? Uh, I talked about this yesterday with the shape. And I said, if you see that shape, it might be this designer. And so if you are really more familiar with vintage, this is like a good practice for learning a little bit more modern designer. So I can't show you the tag here, but definitely take a little guess on this more modern designer here. And Jen got it. Ding, ding, ding. Kendra Scott. So it's more of like a pointed ellipse shape. And then it has like a, dru a druzy stone in there. We can tell it's Kendra Scott. This is the Kendra Scott hang tag here. And then let's see. Um, yep. Katie got it. <laughs> Megan said, Rachel, did you burn your arm? So, Megan... <laughs> Do you know what this is from? This is from that 925 Aztec bracelet that we tested yesterday from the lot. I wore it 
this morning to church and Katie and I were at the thrift store and I was like, I think I'm getting a rash and I usually am not allergic to jewelry, but it was giving me a rash. So yeah. So I think this bar might say Kendra Scott. Yep. There we go. Kendra Scott. So, um, yes, this is a good brand. Brighton, if you guys don't know what Brighton's channel, he said that this is like his number one seller, so, sells really fast, is the Kendra Scott Jewelry. I really like it. <laughs> it looks, it looks nice. And you can actually like see it on a lot of young girls when you go to like Target or something. A lot of them are wearing that shape of jewelry and then you're like, oh, is that Kendra Scott? And they're like, yeah, it is. Lynn is guessing Kendra Scott. Yes, you are right. Okay. So we have this one. This has the P right here. And you might think, oh, that's nothing, right? But it's actually Pure Vita. And I have sold, um, I think maybe like a set of three of these for at least $18. This is a surfer brand. And I don't know, people like that. So if there's several, these could be lotted up. So I'm going to put that to the side. We saw this piece. I don't know why it's still in here. Um, we have this uh, heavy seed bead with a wood back to it. These are all glass. They feel so nice. So lovely. Multi-strand. I'm going to put this in maybe. I probably would love to sell this in my booth, but I'm going to put that in that lot we have this like hematite cross with seed beads i'll put that in craft we have oh this one's broken so we have these vintage glass hand knotted pearls and then this is um delilah let's see let me show you does that say delilah it's this like art deco oh this art deco encrusted box clasp i'm gonna put this into craft and someone can harvest this and repair things maybe use the pearls but that is really pretty okay we have this one has a tag oh this one's actually pretty hard to see all right, you guys, what is this one? Do you guys know? And it's interesting because I've never seen this um, design before by this company. Let's see who gets it. <laughs> it's like a layered hope necklace. And it's it doesn't sell like bad unless it's like a bangle, like a thin bangle, like... Um, that one where did it just go like say that this one all right jen got it jen says premier designs yes it's that little crest with the crown and it says pd in it so like if it so this one would i would sell online but i'm gonna put this in the maybe lot for somebody else put this in craft so if it was a bangle that said like pd i probably wouldn't use it but this is broken i'll put that in craft um all right, we're getting to the end of this. Okay, we have a match here, and I'm not super thrilled about it. <laughs> Look, they're just, like, sparkly um, star hoops. I'm going to put those in craft. Someone can do with it what they would like. Oh, this one I'm sad about because this one is a Stella and Dot, another more modern brand that actually does sell pretty decently. Stella and Dot right there. It's totally stretched out, but the bling on these crystals are lovely. So we'll put that in craft and we just have a lot of loose stuff here. I'm going to try to take out if there's any like earrings. Let's see. I just see a lot of like little necklaces. So yeah, the earrings I'm going to put off to the side. Here's a pendant, chains, Ooh, look at these. That's lovely. I'm going to put this one in maybe. Earrings. Wait a second. What is this thing right here, you guys? What is this thing? What is that? I have no idea. <laughs> this is a little Avon bear, right? Yeah. No, wait. It just says Korea. Hmm. Video is going blurry. 
Well, it might be because I'm futzing too much. Right. Uh, I'm going to put this one in maybe, and then I'm going to... Is that a nose ring? Like, how would you get it through? How does that work? Because I, I don't... Th like, these don't unscrew. All right, I'm going to put that in garbage because if that's a nose ring, I don't want that. <laughs> like, I don't think that's craftable. All right, there's just random chains and things. Oh, oh, look at this little Hershey's Kiss. Um, little Hershey's Kiss thing. Look at how cute this is. There we go. I tried unscrewing it and it does not budge. Little Hershey's Kiss with a little, um, a little rhinestone. Super cute. All right, we're about ready to do another handful. Okay. So, that's going in the maybe. All right. Are you guys ready for another handful? Give this video a thumbs up for another handful. <laughs> Otherwise, I will not do it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. We have a bunch of stuff. Okay. And I kind of want to get the little bits as well. Oh, yay. Jen says yes. She wants a handful. I'm going to try to get the little, little bits. All right, we're at 16 thumbs up. Yay, Sandy says, yippee. I know, isn't it fun? You guys, we have like enough here for another video. It's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Okay. We have 18 thumbs up. It does look like a fun handful. I see something over here that looks fun. All right, who's ready? Someone go get me more tea. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it is therapy. It's like really relaxing to just, I don't know, work or be on, like sometimes I'll just like have this in the corner of my phone on YouTube while I'm listing it's just I do it so often thank you Megan um so let's take out this piece first and it's a little bit stuck Ooh, it's a trombone clasp I've been pulling there we go look at that this is called a trombone clasp I'm going to push it back. Look at that. Woohoo. Damascene. There we go. Isn't that fantastic? Sometimes it will say Spain on the back. This one does not. Uh, Lude Micah, who's in our group, she definitely knows the difference between Toledo Wear and Damascene. Most people when listing would like just title this Damascene so that the buyer can find it. I am not exactly sure if this is Toledo wear or Domicine. You guys can let me know, but most people would call it Domicine. All right, we have more yak bone. Yak bone and brass and leather. And this would probably go with the other boho stuff I have over there. Oh, this is so pretty. You guys know I like love, love, love glass pendants. And look at this swirl in there with the aventurine. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I love it. It is so pretty. I'm going to put this with the other art glass pendants. I know I put an art glass pendant in. Oh, here's another one. I like this one less than that one. So that's why I'm putting it with the collection. I'm going to put this into the craft lot. Um, so someone can use it. All right. I'm going to grab out some earrings that I... Is this an earring? No. Here's an earring. 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 Oh, wait. Do we have a match? Oh, ooh, we have a match right here. Right here. Okay. Stop. Let's hold everything. Oh, and they're fantastic. <gasps> These are fantastic. Look at the baguettes. It's a rainbow of baguettes right here. All right. Let's see if they're marked. Oh, yes, they are. Ooh, yay, you guys get to guess again. So what brand uses high-quality crystals? What do you think these are? 
what earring brand do you think these are that use high quality crystals for like in their earrings and I collect it and I think I want to keep these these are fantastic so maybe wear them this way let's see if somebody gets it Megan got it Swarovski so this is not the one with the swan and Jen says Swarovski this one actually says S-A-L mm -hmm. right there S-A-L and I think when I researched um, correct me if I'm wrong. I think S-A-L came before the actual swan. Some people look for jewelry with the swan on it. So some people might put in their title. <laughs> Megan said, did I win the earrings? Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> um, but anyways, like if you're, t if you're um, like writing a title, some people might find it helpful to even put in marked with swan or... Um, something like swan marking or something like that because that is important to some people uh, these are going in my collection i am so stinking excited about these these are fantastic not missing any rhinestones how much do we love these these are so great yay i'm so happy okay we had some earrings over here um okay we have, ooh, isn't this fantastic? This is a good vintage piece that grabs attention. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you marked? I do see a marking. It says Sarah Coventry. <gasps> ooh, I'm going to Google Lens this one and see if this is an important piece. Sarah Coventry. Uh, <laughs> Katie says... We love them enough to save them for me. Katie actually bought some earrings from my booth today. So, Jen, you have this one. Is is this one called something specific? Because Sarah Coventry sometimes um, names their pieces with specific words. So, I'm thinking I'm going to definitely sell this one. Uh, it just looks really cool. Looks very vintage. Ooh, we have a rhinestone heart cross. No mark. Put that in the maybe. We have, what are these stones? Look at these pink stones. I don't know. It has the fold over clasp. And are you marked anything? No. So this one you think is, is marked, is called Acap Acapulco. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, what are what are these stones, you guys? Look at this. Do we think this is rose quartz? There's like a little bit of greenish in there, but this might be like older rose quartz. Hmm, I think mm -hmm. I want to sell this. This feels heavy and lovely. Okay. We have this like hammered elephant raspberry rhodolite maybe jasper hmm okay we have this elephant boho thing i'm gonna put this in craft it's a little bit worn oh it went in between okay oh we have a ring and you know what i actually did see like as i'm pulling out like little pieces i was seeing a bunch of rings they might just be costume. So I am thinking, because I don't have any rings that are not outside of the case, I might just put a display of costume rings out so that people can just like try them on, fall in love. You know, they could be like $5 or $8, you know, not sterling silver prices. So I think I'm going to try to see as many earrings as, or I'm sorry, as many rings as I can find. Ooh, look at this. Save that elephant gem for Bob's booth. It's authentic. So that's an inside joke, you guys. <laughs> if you guys don't know, but um, yeah. So we have a vendor who thinks that everything's authentic <laughs> and old. Authentically old and signed and one of a kind. So we're basically saving everything mm -hmm. for Bob. <laughs> we have Mother of Pearl Discs. You can tell that this is well made. What is this setting? Like sawtooth. Um, ooh, 
there it goes. This actually, just by looking at the back of this, looks like alpaca um, alpaca silver and not sterling silver. I really like it. So we'll put that in the yes. Ooh, look at this clip on. Love this. This is fantastic. Yeah, for someone, if they can't wear earrings, they would love this. Honestly, this could work for a really long time. Like, it doesn't look vintage. It looks more artisan and modern. It has little charms. really hope we find the match to that. We found some earrings here. Maybe we'll find matches to that, but I'm just going to leave those to the side. Okay, look at this. We have, like, another fetish style necklace but these are painted clay with the birds a little bit worn and then yesterday um i think this was called the oxicana with the birds and then we have this one today so i'm definitely wanting to sell this probably mexico mexico yes um, if anybody finds out any more about those, like, terracotta-looking birds, let me know. Ooh. Fold. I am obsessed with fold-over charm bracelets that are vintage. Let's just, let's just take a look at all the charms. <laughs> okay. We have cat. We have, what is this? Um a fairy godmother <laughs> i don't know oh oh this is pinocchio oh this might be collect this is figaro okay Fig fairy godmother pinocchio um geppetto and jiminy cricket this is a collectible oh my gosh and we're at 40 yay you guys are at 40 in the live right now so i said once we get to 40 I am going to ask you guys, because now we have enough people to ask you guys your thoughts um, about this piece. How it's constructed makes me think very, I've never seen something like this, but it makes me think of very old watch chains. Now look at how, look at these. And then over here looks extremely old and soldered. Thank you, Jen. She's reminding everyone to give a thumbs up. And then from what I've, like, I tried Google Lensing it. There's ones that are like this that are Georgian and called Pinchbeck. P-I-N-C-H-B-E-C-K. Pinchbeck. Um, but uh, there wasn't anything this big. So a lot of them were, like, really, really... I don't know why it would be super blurry because on my end it's not showing up blurry. So Megan says can't see it clearly. Let's see. Let me know if you guys can see it. Um, It's pixelated. Hmm. Why would it be? Like it's weird because it's not showing up like that on my end. So I don't really know what to do about that. Let's see. Let me know if it gets better. Um, it's like a bad signal Wi-Fi. Blurry. Everyone's like saying blurry. Okay, let me like. Okay, so let me know. We're back. Let me know if it's better. I just disconnected and reconnected. Um, I'll just hold it right here and I guess I'll talk. Oh, okay, good. It's great. Um, yay. Kick everyone in your house off the internet. Ooh, I don't know if I should yell <laughs> in the basement, you guys. Um, but you guys, look at Pinchback Georgian, um, like, chain. Let me know what you think. But these are all so, so gorgeous, right? You could even Google Lens this, um, take a screenshot, just let me know and then maybe I can even post it in the Facebook group um, because if this is actually really that old, this could be worth a, like maybe over a thousand dollars. It looks like cigar rings is what Sandy says. These are thick. These are thick, thick, thick. Um, and it reminds me of like a gold filled watch chain, like an old, old watch chain. 
but yeah so wanted to get your guys's opinion on that so while you guys are thinking <laughs> we will continue on oh we have a match we have some earrings we will put those into craft did i acid test it i did not i did not acid test it i so the reason i'm thinking it's definitely not gold is because these are not closed all the way and if they were gold they would have like treated this a lot better <laughs> like it would have been really done really well and it thinking it might just be gold fill um all right we have this like retro oh this is a clip-on here we go clip-on dirty oh you guys so i did um after i turned off the video yesterday i did actually record a video using the sonic cleaner the ultrasonic cleaner and I actually put in that Trifari necklace that was a total hot mess with Verdigree. And I haven't ever done Verdigree before. And guess what? It worked. <laughs> I was like, what? It like took off all the Verdigree. And that was super surprising. So all this like really dirty stuff. Now I'm like, oh, I'll just throw it in the Sonic Cleaner. Okay, we have a match. Dun, 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 dun. Here are the puffy... Puffy parrot match. There we go. Remember, these were this was marked 925 on the hook. We are still suspicious. This lot might not be 925. So I'm gonna put that to the side to test for later. We will see. Oh, look, we have the match. And um, I asked in the chat, what was it? A couple days ago, I said, what do these remind me of? And it reminded me of the designer Judith Ripka. So there are, like, these are in the style of Judith Ripka, but Judith Ripka is a brand you want to definitely be on the lookout for. So it has the faux amethyst, faux citrine. So if it has various degrees and you clean it with water, be sure to dry it very well, or it might get green very, it might get green again. I dry metal things in front of a fan. Hmm. Interesting. Well, yeah, and, like, I... And it was, okay, I'll just show you guys. It was, like, really bad yesterday. And I took it out. Like, this is completely dry. I had it on paper towel. And you can actually see there are some, like, darker spots um, where it was. So, like, this you couldn't even read. Oh, I see a little bit. I might have to run it again because now that it's dry, I see a little bit of stuff on there. But I couldn't even read it yesterday. So I, so because it was so full, if I was doing like a vinegar rub, I was like, that would just take forever. It's probably not worth it. But because the ultrasonic cleaner took off so much, I was like, oh, that's amazing. All right, so I definitely want to sell this. This is by the brand JJC, which I've never sold before, but I do really like the look. These are a modern style of clip-on earrings all right megan says i use penetrating oil to clean verdigree it protects the metal wow you sound like a professional <laughs> i'm like what is all that i have no idea um let me just send all my stuff over to you megan we had this yesterday and i think i put it in the maybe and we have another one so it's a little um little dingly thing cute we'll put that one also in the maybe lot we have another pin oh it has like a little like nephrite jade thing i believe and we'll put that in the maybe we have this lucite Ooh, look at this it's like swirled lucite geometric amber tone necklace very bright yellow really fun. It just needs um, to be repaired right there. So I'm going to put this in the um, craft block. Someone can use some vintage beads for crafting. Ooh, we have this fused art glass pendant. Look at that. I think that this is so lovely. I'm going to put this in craft. Someone would love that. <clears throat> we have, ooh, we have a hat pin. Vintage hat summer garden party pin 
made out of resin. Put that in the maybe. Not marked. Oh, we have another pendant or link. No, this is a pendant. Let me show you guys. This looks like Coral Links, the brand Coral. But are you marked? Is that a mark at the bottom? Oh, wow. Cannot even see. It looks like it should be there. There's a copyright symbol and then something, something, something. All right, I'm going to hold it up. Someone can Google Lens it. <laughs> and yeah, if you Google Lens something and it doesn't show up, you can actually um, add in more words to your picture to give it um, to give it more like options of what to search for. Oh, bye, Katie. That's okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's see. Yeah. So you can literally like Google Lens this and then type in pendant and it will give you more accurate options. And I don't know if a lot of you knew that you can add words to your Google Lens search. So I'm going to put that to the side because I do not even know what it says. It's really hard to read. It's really faded. Okay. Oh, did we have? Yes, we do. We have this like painted wood guy. Okay, I want to put these in my booth. <laughs> these are so stinking adorable. These little wood um, parrots. Yes. Okay. Ooh, ring. Yes, score. Vintage ring, faux turquoise. Actually, it's like a whole hot mess. Look at this. I think that someone glued on something that doesn't fit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put that in. I'm going to put that in the ring. I'm going to do something with it. All right. Earring. Um, this is a weird earring. What is this? Oh, this looks old. This looks like a brass old thing. Probably an earring. That one's super cool. All right. We have this situation. Oh, that is rough. This is so bent. What does it say? It says something. Um, Jen says she didn't get anything on Google Lens. That's okay. <laughs> Thanks for trying. Oh, this is Mexico. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to put this in craft. Someone can reshape that if they want. We have another earring. This big ball orb thing. Oh, look at this. So cute. Um... This is a little scissors tie clip, matte gold tone. Love that. I'm going to say yes to that one. Oh my gosh. This might be one of those hair screws. I'm just going to not even put that in anything um, because it just gets tangled in everything. We are at 48 minutes. This is what I'm saying, you guys. 28 pounds is a lot of jewelry. <laughs> We're on the third video, and there's just so much. All right, an ombre faux pearl bib, maybe. We have... Ooh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. I love this. Wait, let me take this out. Um, I love seed bead art. So Maya, the antique booth owner, her mom, I believe who's from Mexico, she does this like seed bead art where you have it on a little weaving loom and you can do designs. And that is just gorgeous to me. I'm obsessed. I love this kind of thing. And then you pull it. So I kind of want to just keep it to show her. Look at, look at how fun that is. I love it. And it's so comfortable. I say that all the time. So comfortable. All right. Earrings. Then what is this? Okay. Okay. I'm confused. This totally looks vintage, right? Um, and it is supposed to be on there. It's not just glued. She says it matches my nails. Yes, it does. Oh, and look at my ring today, you guys. Isn't that fantastic? Um, but it's, oh, oh, oh. So I think this might have been repaired. 
because I see two, these two places here, but then there's a lobster claw clasp. So I think this was a repaired vintage piece. I'm thinking. I'm going to put this in craft and someone can totally repair that. That is so cool. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. What is this? Let's get it out. Okay. We have a faux pearl pendant. Are you marked? No. But this is an interesting clasp. I haven't seen this one before. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe these don't even go together. But I'll put those in the maybe. That has to be researched more. All right, you guys. If you are new to my channel, make sure you're subscribing. Hit that button down below. Subscribe to the new channel. And let me know if you've subscribed. That will make my heart super happy. <laughs> I'm trying to grow that channel. Um, the one about the antique booth and hard goods and all that stuff. This is, looks fantastic. Ooh, Jen is right on it. She is putting the link for you guys to make it easy. Look at how absolutely wow that this is. Let me get this. Look at this. I mean, there's like stuff, stuck more screw hair things. And one of the chains looks like it came off. But this is quite the, quite the statement here. All right. I'm going to put this in craft and someone can repair it. I am sure it would be worth repairing because that is that is quite the statement on the little bust thing. Gold tone chain bracelet. I'm going to put that in craft. This is interesting. So it looks like, oh my gosh, looks like little rhinestones in this wire wrap. And it's broken. Oh, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. I'm going to put that in craft. Okay. And then, what else did I want to say? Um, 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 um. Subscribe. Subscribe to all the things. <laughs> um, join our Facebook groups. Yeah, all the things. Oh, district. That was another thing. Laura says, already subscribed to the new channel already. Can't wait for the great videos over there. I'm pretty excited. I recorded one with Katie today, as a matter of fact. So, yeah, super fun. We went to the Goodwill bins and to another thrift store. Um, oh, Paula put up the district link. So, if you like buying and or selling jewelry, make sure you are in our district selling platform. Uh, Paula put the link up below. And, um, yes, yeah, so you can use my code, which is LilyWorks. 36 and you will get five dollars off of your first order and let me tell you there are jewelry lots going up for like 10 or 15 dollars so if you get 15 or if you get five dollars off of your first order you're just getting such a score um paula says i absolutely love districts so many amazing things to see and buy i actually i'm really i'm really loving it so much also for the fact that like you guys who are all in the chat like, I'm able to see your pieces and your listing, and we're able to talk about it and share it. And it just is such a more, it's more of a community feel, and I really, really enjoy it. And I, that is exactly what I was hoping for, and that's why I reached out to you guys as a community. Like, this is something we wanted to do as a community, and yay! Um, okay, so we have a hang tag on here, and it says something... And this actually feels older. So I'm kind of surprised it has this little hang tag. Like this feels like an older like 1960s hand sewn rhinestone fabric ball. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, but I don't know. If you guys know what I'm talking about and you've handled a lot of like vintage clothes or vintage buttons even like that's kind of what it feels like but I cannot what does it say it says wait this way it goes this way so sables s-a-b-l-e-s -E sables it looks a little retro I have never 
sold that before. So someone looked that up. <laughs> what is Sables? That is super awesome. I'm, I'm really excited to learn more about this piece. I'm going to put this right there just to learn more about it because I, I think it's great. All right. Ooh, look at this fantastic clip on. It is very chunky. <laughs> chunky, bold, artsy. I, I don't think we have a match yet. All right. Let's see if we have a match to any of these earrings. Oh, here's an earring. This is Broken Jasper. Put that in craft. Whoa, look at this clip on. I love it. It's a matte, matte gold tone, and there's some rhinestone missing, but oh my gosh, if I find the match to that, I want that piece. Ooh, look at that one. All right. Ooh, look at that one. <laughs> All right, we have another charm bracelet, vintage charm, and it has bells, and oh, look at this primitive star. Like, very folk arty. We have a moon. Maybe we're missing something. Sun. Maybe we're missing the sun. I don't know, but this is pretty awesome. I'm going to put that in the maybe, and maybe someone can finagle around the, the charms a little bit. So let's take a look at... Ooh, ooh, look at... Is this Sabrina glass? With that, like, milky, and then the color on the inside. Kind of looks like a heart. I love that one. And then this is interesting because it honestly looks like a Y2K style earring from like the 2000 era. It has a screw back on it. So what does it say? Huh. And it is old. Look at how old this looks on the back. It says Czechoslovakia. Interesting. Now I really want the mate. I re like this is so cool. I would not have thought that this was a screwback style. I have not seen something like that before. And then we have this glorious cube of glass clip on. Ooh, it says something. This way it says Austria. And you guys know if I find the mate, it's going into the um collection all right oh these are so pretty but it's missing so much so it looks like we have just really really pretty glass beads and the so oh oh this is totally it's not missing anything somebody left that all bare i see so this is going into craft and someone can harvest that all right, we have blue and brown lobster claw, claw clasp acrylic. Put that in the maybe. Ooh, I like this. Look at how fun this is. Dyed shell. Okay, ooh, Michelle, hello. Finally caught alive. Yay. Um, so Jen says she found a modern company, Sable, but nothing with Sables. Oh, that, I'm just going to have to research that because that is interesting this is the one we're talking about here and angela's here hello welcome in um we already have some goodies in the boxes already so if you are looking to purchase a lot go ahead over to district and you know don't just purchase from me i'm trying to make these lots super cheap for you guys so that you guys head on over and then you see all the good things that are happening over there because it's not just me uh, putting out really great stuff. So I absolutely love this. It feels so nice, very colorful, fun. It makes me want to go on a cruise. I'm going to put this in the maybe, even though I would totally put that in my booth. I'm going to put it in the maybe for you guys. Oh, we have the match to this gigantic earring. <laughs> Where's the other one? <laughs> I want to sell these. <laughs> they're, look, look, listen, they're, they're totally, I'm wondering if it's sterling silver, you guys, because this is all like soldered together. It's not like a hanging bobble. And it looks like a handmade 
more like of an industrial earring, artsy, big, bold earring. Okay, let's get this off. So atomic. Becky says so atomic. I mean, these are crazy. <clears throat> um, this little chain is like stuck. This little part. MCM. Megan says MCM. Thank you guys for coming and joining me. It's so nice to hang out with you guys. And seeing like regular people come in and hang out. That's so awesome. So yeah, I love these. These are pretty great. Okay. Next. I see a blue necklace here. Oh, we have a necklace in here that has like so many pieces that can get tangled in everything. Oh, that one right there. That's the one. All right, we're going to undo this. Try to get it out of here. Really like the cobalt blue and the gunmetal gray. Pretty. Okay, we got it. And I see a tag. Okay, what are you? It looks like it has an extender on here as well. So this one says Avon. Look, you guys, a little Avon, and I love the cobalt blue. My heart loves Avon. I think it's because it's like, <gasps> stop, hold the phone, hold everything. Did you guys see what I just pulled out? Oh my word, we are so excited. <laughs> we have a match. <gasps> Look at this mint green loveliness happening. Look. Who is so excited? I am so excited. Look at this. <gasps> oh, yay, Paula. I was waiting for someone to clap. <laughs> Paula, thank you for clapping. <laughs> Czechoslovakia, you guys. These look old. What are we thinking? 1940s or 50s? Ah, these are fantastic. And they're glass. Yay. I'm so happy we found a match. <laughs> Those are yes. Yes all day. Ooh, look at this. Vintage, fold over clasp, faux turquoise. And then it's on this like textured checkerboard metal. Love that. That one is a yes. Ooh, we have a ring, another ring. I'm gonna put it in the booth, or maybe that one fell out of the bowl. I don't know. Okay, ooh, look at this. Look at this cuff, this copper cuff. It's focus, there we go. Um, Michelle says, Avon has some beautiful vintage pieces. They're undervalued, in my opinion. I think they're undervalued because there's so many of them. That's what it is. It's like they're really, really pretty, and a lot of them are really well made. Um, but because there's so many, so many people sold them. So many people have, um, like, old stock because they just stopped selling and they have a bunch um, so that's why the value isn't necessarily there, but you guys know, I don't price things for under uh, $7.99 and then I just like let it sit. So there is some like where maybe verdigris or oxidation or something happening at the ends. Uh, love it though. It's very deeply carved. It looks really nice. So I'm going to put that in the maybe lot for somebody else. Um, we have, ooh, ooh, this feels, it feels like a very sleek spoon or something, but it has this really pretty, um, indentation, etching, and, da -da -da -da, oh, it's marked, okay, marked, 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 oh, Whiting and Davis, yes, mm -hmm. score! Whiting and Davis bangle, and it is so soft and like slidable. Probably to slide it on easily, but it just feels like one of those really nice ones. That, yeah, yay! Okay, that one was awesome. All 
All right, someone put this on a shoestring. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, this might be like a nephrite jade. And this is glass right here. A little donut glass glass. I'm going to put this in craft because these are some good like pieces here, but someone put it on like a shoestring. I don't know. That's weird. Okay. It's going over there. All right. Earring. Cute. Super cute Christmas bow earring. Um, this thing that's modern, but not in bad condition. So put that over there. That would be something perfect for, you know, putting for like two bucks in the booth. Because honestly, people are buying that kind of stuff every day from my booth. It's just like, if they don't feel like, oh, no. See, this is, I can't even, I can't even have a thought. Because, let's take out this piece. Get it out. Um, is this an old Art Deco? Um, Czechoslovakia necklace? Okay, let me know what your thoughts are. But look at these molded glass beads here. Right there. And then these cut facets. Has that really dark citrine amber color um, and it just feels so nice and icy and lovely oh this is so this is such a yes this is such a yes look at that yay I think we had another art deco Czechoslovakia one earlier yay okay look at this sequin fun whatever clip on okay um we have oh this is so stinking adorable look at the tiny tiny stars look at you guys little tiny stars rock crystal um this this is um obsid snowflake obsidian with the white and black right there. Oh, barrel clasp. So cute. I love it. I'm going to put this in the maybe for somebody else. Somebody else will love this or sell it. I love it. <clears throat> okay. We have another pendant that looks very similar to that one we had yesterday that we tried testing. You guys remember? And it was blue. I think it tested negative <laughs> for sterling silver. Here we go. There it is. So it might just be very thickly rhodium plated. Yeah, this one also says 925. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll I'll have to like really like scratch them to get past the rhodium plating. We'll see. Oh. This might be Bakelite with a cat on it 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 has that color kind of well let me do sorry you guys let me do the quick rub test even though I really don't think I can smell formaldehyde I always think maybe I can <laughs> yeah whenever I rub it and I smell it it just smells like something old <laughs> like it really does so I am going to have fun with you guys and we're going to do the q-tip test really quick on the back so i'm using the simichrome polish you can get this easily on amazon i have the link below my videos maybe yeah this video should have the links um get a little dab you guys can see simichrome polish is pink and it will change color if it will change a tobacco tobacco-y color if it is Bakelite. So let's see. Might have put too much on it to be honest. <sighs> and Bakelite won't be white because if they made Bakelite in white it would have changed to be more like this color or even like a little bit darker. Okay. 
Nope, not Bakelite. So I don't know what this would be. Hmm. Kind of like my first guess would have been Bakelite. So yay, Elizabeth is here. <laughs> She's here for the live. We are testing to see if this is Bakelite and I see a no. I'm just going to put this over in the earrings. So Elizabeth, you missed. We found an Alexis Bitar necklace. We found Art Deco. We found, oh, oh, my favorite. I'm just going to reshow you guys. Look at these. Czechoslovakian screwback earrings. We found the match. Fantastic. I'm dying. They are so great. Okay. Let's get more. Ooh, this actually feels so nice. These cold mint green beads right here. Glass shell. Let's see, are you marked? It is marked. PL. Oh, what is this? Park Lane? Is this a newer Park Lane piece? Jen is like on it whenever I ask a question. She is like Googling so fast. <laughs> I think she's like, oh, what is that? So I'm waiting for Jen's response. <laughs> or whomever else. But I think I want to sell this just because it just feels so nice. And I do think that it is a Park Lane piece. Oh, more rings. So ring, look at this sparkly, probably like a CZ or something. How exciting. I'll, yes, 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 yes. Look at the recording after, super fun. I'm going to put that in the rings. Ooh, super sparkly and beautiful. That is lovely. Okay. Oh no, we have this magnet situation with the like hematite looking beads oh I don't know why did they make jewelry like this maybe they were like maybe you can wear it as like a bracelet and a necklace and I'm gonna put this into craft and someone can use these beads there we go all right we have a dragonfly and I do see that razor blade um like link next to the hook so let's see if it's ew, it does it says 925 again we are suspicious because we've had a lot of things from this lot oh this one also says 925 right there wear it when i go out sourcing jewelry I, yeah i'll be like a magnet and accidentally steal things <laughs> like while i'm like while i'm going through a bin or something it'll just like snag everything and then i walk out dripping with everything behind me so this I'm gonna test this is a cutie little dragonfly possibly sterling silver uh, kind of love this like retro thing dyed is it wood something it's dyed something all right so Sandy says she must say good night. Good night, Sandy. Um, yes, these videos are very long. Ooh, an hour and 13 minutes we're at, you guys. We're definitely have, gonna have a four part, four parter. And you know what I should do? I should totally like see if I have earring matches and just get them prepared because I feel like this <laughs> this lot will never end if I'm like sitting there trying to match up earrings at the end so maybe I might do that um, but this has been a super fun lot I kind of just want to buy gigantic lots and hang out with you guys all the time and <laughs> sell these for great deals so this is damaged I'm gonna put that in craft boo someone could totally love that we have oh Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we have a tangle of stuff. So I don't know if these are actually called trade beads or these are just the polymer clay. Um, I actually am wondering if these are, these are all glass beads. You guys think that these are trade beads? Hmm. Let's get it undone. 
and maybe this represents something because there's a lot of colors going on and it's glass it has an ethnic look to it trade beads are ethnic um interesting what do you guys think about this what is this hmm i'm looking to the chat see what you guys say live chat all right you guys are saying good night sandy <laughs> what do you guys think about this piece I'm wondering. I'm gonna put I'm just gonna put that to the side because I'm still wondering about it. Okay. Is this a vintage piece right here? Alright, so Megan says I see some online that look a lot like those spotted beads. Are you talking about the trade beads that look like the spotted beads? Because I have sold trade bead, like trade bead, was it a necklace before? That was very similar. Yeah, yes, exactly. So, and like, that is more valuable. Those are mo much more valuable than just, um, you know, polymer clay, just a simple polymer clay bead necklace. All right. Oh, Jen's back. PL, <laughs> Pierre Lang, or is it a platinum piece? It's definitely not platinum. I'm thinking that this is a more modern Park Lane um, hang tag. That's what I think. I really, I'm really thinking. Okay. This is um, damaged, I think. It's missing a rhinestone. Put that in craft. This needs some rhinestone harvest craft. This, ooh, these are genuine pearls. And what does it say? What does it say? Patent, patent 2009, right there. What does it say on the back? It says USA patent. So just two patents and then um, we have this looks, this little star looks like it was added later, maybe? Did someone, I don't think someone handmade this. Um, that does have genuine pearls. Little crystals. This would be super cute as a choker. Okay, we're going to put that in the maybe. <clears throat> Ooh. Little abalone shell. Cute. I'm gonna put that in craft. Okay, we have this like hematite looking necklace. And not marked. Interesting. I'm gonna put that in the maybe. Okay. Ooh, this one's totally out, outstretched. We'll put that in the craft. All right, I'm just going to grab a few more. I'm going to put this, like, kind of to the side because I want to just see if we have a few more matches of earrings before I leave you guys. So I'm going to grab, like, handfuls of littles. Just so that there's not... Okay, let's get the littles over here. Let me know if you guys see any matches yet. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Look at this ring. Oh my gosh, look at this ring, you guys. Oh, this would be so good to sell in the booth probably like maybe stainless steel or coated or something with this big ginormous ring faux marcasite type deal yes oh a hummingbird an enameled hummingbird with rhinestones oh and the rhinestones are open on the head and i don't see a mark which is very surprising that is definitely a yes okay what is happening I am so confused. Oh, I was like, what? This is so, like, this is so beautiful. And then this is so ugly. 
uh you guys these are like little polymer clay flowers that they put on a crystal necklace why would they <laughs> why why would they do that we're gonna put that in craft they might have done that for a, a lanyard Ooh, this is a really pretty cuff link and it is not marked love it though all right Ooh, this is marked Barlow. Oh, I've had Barlow earrings. I've had Barlow pendants. Let's see what it is. <gasps> Ooh, look at this. It definitely, Barlow, um, Barlow jewelry definitely has a faux scrimshaw look or the scrimshaw look. Not scrimshaw, but it definitely has that look. So that is lovely. Amy, um, actually, Amy Props actually gifted me some Barlow stud hummingbird earrings. We have a match. We have a match. Yay. Um, but I think we're missing the earring part. Boo. Yeah, we're missing that part. We'll see if it's in there. I don't know. Okay. Ooh, look at this transfer. Beautiful brooch. Yes, it's on porcelain. Okay, anything else that looks like could have been a wait did we have this one this little thing is so broken but I think we might have this one it looks so high-end and it feels so high-end I think we might have the match to that I remember having something you guys want to see the earrings over here there's so many <laughs> there's just so many and okay we're just gonna put then the earrings right there um something no idea oh i have no idea something oh i love these these are usually fine porcelain made in england and a little little chipped but i've sold those plenty of times they have a d stick pin mm -hmm. maybe oh, i love this look at this look Look at this dried flower in there. I love this so much. I really hope we have the match to that. Oh my word. Look at this back of this clip. This is old. Look at that. And it's very um, aluminum feeling, which makes me think it's like West Germany. Wow. This is an old, <laughs> an old clip on that's for sure. Okay. So nothing super exciting here all right we're gonna do the next part tomorrow Ooh, a little cutesy bead we'll put that in craft all right i might put a few more pieces in those lots over there and then we're gonna finish up pretty soon the rest of this lot oh my goodness so yeah if you haven't put given this video a thumbs up go ahead and do that make sure you're signed up on district.net slash lilyworks I'm going to be putting up the maybe lot and the craft lot at $14.99 each um, right after this, as I always do. So Megan's asking, when will I list the craft lot, craft stuff? I usually do that, take a couple pictures, and I <laughs> list it right away. Um, sometimes if it's not, like, if it doesn't fill up the bag, I will put in a couple more pieces that I have from behind me. Um, but this one's actually doing pretty good, pretty full, and yeah, so anyways, yay! So make sure you're subscribed to both of the channels if you're not already subscribed, and I will see you guys in my next video, and be sure to look out for the so um, ultrasonic cleaning video. That one was actually pretty interesting, and it was, I learned something myself, so be, uh, be on the lookout for that. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.